Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. In this video, I'm going to be explaining all the different options that you can get on Porsche 911 997 Gen 2. So this is cars that are made between 2009 and 2012 predominantly. Um, in this video, I've actually got three examples. A gorgeous aqua blue metallic 911 Carrera 3.6. This is a, a two-wheel drive, so it's rear-wheel drive. Then next to it, I've got a Carrara white 911 Carrera 4S so that's got the 3.8 versus the 3.6 in this and this one is four-wheel drive and also the wide body then the car next to it is the 3.8 Carrera S so that's rear-wheel drive just like this one but um, it's the narrow body so I'll just um, that one's finished in um, Atlas grey metallic so I'll just talk you through the key options on these cars so you can see some of the differences that are that are available um, first of all I'll show you the the rears so the Carrera S obviously has a Carrera S badge but it has um, the narrow body it doesn't have a, a reflector here um, unlike the 4S which obviously says Carrera 4S has the rear reflector all the four-wheel drive versions of the Carreras in this era had the reflector it's not it doesn't light up it's just a reflector and the the arches are, are wider you probably can't tell very easily on this video other than the fact that this lip is less pronounced on the narrow body ones compared to on here but the whole arch essentially sticks out further and then the Carrera which is also two-wheel drive is the same width as that Atlas Grey car so similar step there but the i mean the, even the just looking at the colors which are obviously optional colors this is the only one that has a, a standard color um the optional colors really do change how these cars look and then looking at wheels so there's three different wheel styles here we've got the um carrera sport wheels which have a, a diamond cut edge and they're a metallic gray which I think really suit the 911. Then you've got the 911 turbo style wheels, which are diamond cut and with a darker metallic gray on the edge, on the inside there. And then you've got the, um, these are called the Carrera Classics, which are a five spoke and uh, they also look great as well. But even, even just looking at those, different styles they they obviously change the look of the car, car quite drastically now the Carrera models came with um, satin black finished front vents whereas the S models came with as I'm sure you see it now silver and silver these all have the standard by Xenon headlights so they're the 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 standard fit headlights that were fitted to all 997 Gen 2s in the UK, except if they had PDLS, which is Porsche Dynamic, Porsche Dynamic Light System, lighting system. So that's the dynamic cornering lights. They're the same brightness, they're still by Xenon, but they're uh, a little bit more dynamic in how they operate. They're obviously all coupes. I didn't say that at the start, but because I've got these three different models in coupe form I thought I'd, it'd be a great video to show you um, the S model so that's this one here this one here so 2s 4s they all come with larger brakes they come with uh, PASM PASM Porsche active suspension management which um, means that you can switch very quickly between the comfort mode on these cars to the harder sport setting at the touch of a button in the dashboard and I'll show you that in the center console there they also come with the, the larger brake setup with red calipers as standard. They could be optioned in different colours. So if you see an S with different colours, it could be because it's got either the Porsche um, ceramic brakes or it's had just an optional colour applied in the factory or afterwards as well. So they have the same brake setup, even though they're two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. The Carrera models came with slightly smaller brakes and they were predominantly black from the factory. However, this one had the, um, uh, it's called Speed Yellow um, calipers painted from the factory instead. So they're a, 
a smaller size, but they actually look quite nice as well because they've been made more of a feature. The black ones do tend to fade and they tend to go like a lightish gray um, and look quite aged. So people do actually paint them in sort of like guards red or speed yellow aftermarket as well. So that's another option you can look at. If you, if you see a car and the, you wanna make more of a feature of the brakes, you can do that. Uh, most body shops will be able to do that. It's quite a lot of work, but it's, it, is, it is possible. Now, um, two of these cars don't have the sunroof which is this one and this one. So this is what the roof looks like. A nice clean metal panel. But this Carrera has got the optional sunroof, which is a metal sunroof. Let's lift that off there. Um, so that's electric, it's a tilt and slide sunroof. And that's quite nice because it lets a little bit more light in to the cabin. They all have the, the same black leather um, which was uh, standard on all 911s of the era, so it's extended leather, so it's all across the, the dashboard, the, the doors, and also all of the uh, interior seats and everything else. I'll just show you in on this car. So all of this is stitched leather, stitched leather here, and you could get different contrasting colour stitching. Um, obviously you could get different colours like red, grey, blue, and beige, sand beige. They also come with the black Alcantara roof and black carpets and black mats. This is the safest option, I think, when you're buying, um, unless you want something very, uh, a bit more of a feature on the inside. Uh, most people prefer the black interior because it's the most neutral. And there's the sunroof in the Alcantara headlining there. Um, so that's how that looks. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the um, exhausts. So two of these cars have got the switchable sports exhaust and that is these two S's. So they have a sort of like a, a finisher, well, a, a surround there and then the stainless steel pipes around the edges. Just will show it on this one as well. Whereas the Carreras come with just a single ovals on each side unless so it was specced with a sports tailpipe option. So I think they make more of a feature of it. If it didn't have the switchable sports exhaust, then it would have steel quad pipes, but they would be stainless steel polished pipes, a bit like these ones here. So you'd get four of them, uh, two on each side. So I think those, that, that's another thing that can change the exterior quite significantly. Uh, there is also the aero kit as well, which I haven't got one in stock at the moment, so you could have a different front bumper and um, you could even have a rear spoiler as well from the factory rather than the one that just comes up automatically at speed. Now, in terms of seat options, I think these have, two of them have sports seats. So this, this is the, the uh, comfort seat shape. So it's the, they're also known as the tombstone seats in older 911s um, so they have a leather back so it's all stitched leather here as standard but this one has the optional um, it's either 12 or 14 way seat so everything is electric the base can be lifted um, independently front and back obviously front uh, moving the whole seat forward and back is, is electric and moving this and then it has lumbar support so you can inflate cushions here there's three levels of it using this control here and with that package it also came with memory seats so you can have the keys programmed with different settings for the for the driver's seat um, the mirrors uh, for each individual key and then you can have another two settings there so that's really nice so I'll, I'll leave that one there open and then this is the optional hardback sport seat so the back of them are plastic backed but this could be optioned in a different color. This is the standard color, which is the gray, the gray finish, but you could have them either flocked in leather or you could have them painted in another color like gloss black. You could have them in exterior color, which I've had in the past. So I've had a white car with, with white backs on the seats there. And this is the standard setup of um, two-way electric. So just the back is electric, 
but the height adjustment is done with this handle here and then you have a, a manual handle there to pull the whole seat forward and back no lumbar support adjustable lumbar support there and this car has the same now there was another um, like fully electric version of these Harbat sports seats and I'll just show you them in a very special 997 Gen 1.5 turbo we've got here um, which is also the same era 2009 and these are them so it's still the hardback sports seat so there's a dark gray they have larger bolsters all the sport the hardback sports seats do these are larger bolsters here um, but it's a it's a 16 way in these so you have the uh, lumbar support you have the full electric as in the um, the comfort seat with the full electric options but then it also has these buttons here which control these side bolsters and you can actually move these in and out independently so that that's that's for the the ones in your back and that's the ones in the base of the seat so that's a really nice option and again that came paired with memory so you could set the memory for the driver's seat to individual keys you could also set the mirrors as well um, other options are while I'm here actually is illuminated door sills you could have this on any of the models the Carreras the 4S's the 2S's and obviously the turbos so these are finished in carbon fiber but you could have them in in stainless steel as well and they look really really great make a real feature of of the um, the door entry area um, and then also the surround for the gear lever or PDK shift, in this case, this is a Tiptronic because this is a Gen 1.5, but you could have this flocked in leather um, rather than just this standard plastic, which you see in the other cars. But again, extended leather here. Um, this one has a sunroof as well. The sunroof came standard in the 911 turbos. Um, and I'll just show you the standard door entry now that I've shown you the optional one. So this is standard plastic, but then you have the model inscription there. And that's the same, but with obviously a different inscription on the different cars. So there's the 4S. And this one will say Carrera S. Now, um, let me speak, let me talk about uh, steering wheels now, I think. so. Let me see what the steering wheel is in this one. Okay, so this one's this is a seven-speed PDK. So there was two options for transmissions. One was the six-speed manual, which is made by ASIN, um, or there was the seven-speed PDK, which is made by ZF. Um, all of these cars have the seven-speed PDK. These these three Carreras here. Um, so it's um, it's a great box because you can use it in full auto, full manual, full manual, or you can just use gears at any point in auto mode as well now that that box also means you get steering wheel controls on whatever steering wheel you choose this is the optional multifunction steering wheel so it comes with a, a gray finish which matches the uh, sports seats the hardback sports seats if you have them it's that same sort of plastic finish it actually matches the gray finish here um, in this Carrera and you get the the paddles here so you push it away to go up a gear, pull it towards you to go down a gear. Um, and it has the controls for um, making phone calls and also adjusting the volume and various other bits on the sat-nav system. I should also mention that the um, heated seats are optional. So you'd see an extra set of buttons there. Otherwise there'd be four buttons here um, and rather than the six and you there was another option for cooled seats so you could have heated and cooled seats so there'd be eight bot buttons on this row here so that's the multifunction steering wheel then the other um, steering wheel which people quite like is called the sport design steering wheel so with the pdk box again it comes with a full size paddle there up a gear there down a gear there and that follows the wheel as well um, that's quite a nice system because it makes you feel more involved in the gear changes but the downside of it is is that it doesn't have the controls for the PCM system so you can't adjust the volume pick up phone calls and hang up you have to actually use the sat nav system itself um, and then there was a the standard wheel as well now the S models also come with I don't know if you saw it was sort of like a uh, a matte finished 
uh, satin finish grey. This is obviously um, Arctic silver metallic. I think it's called Galvano silver. Um, these are finished in Galvano silver um, on the S models, which is quite a nice feature as well. Um, the and if you get the multifunction steering wheel on an S, it's exactly the same as the one in the Carrera, even though it doesn't quite match that. Obviously, these do, so it all still it all still works. Um, w whichever sort of interior you've got, it works quite well having the um, having uh, the multifunction steering wheel or the sport design steering wheel. It just depends what your preferences are in terms of what you what you actually um, prioritize. Now the stereos in these cars, there's basically two stereos that were in the majority of cars in the UK and that is Sound Package Plus, which um, I think is a, a nine speaker system in these cars. So you didn't get Bose here. This car has got Sound Package Plus, so it's 235 watt from memory. And that's a perfectly decent system. But then the uprated system, which is in this car and this blue one is the uh, Bose, 12 speaker um, system which has a subwoofer behind here so this this shelf here is a is a has a subwoofer built into that carpeted box there and it says bose there and it has bose on there and that's uh 485 watts i think around that I'll, I'll look it up in the spec in a second but if you haven't got bose in one of these Carrera coupes, then you have a different, you have that box is missing um, and it's carpeted and it's like a little extra step in there. So a little bit extra space in there for luggage if you want to use that rear section. Um, there was no option for folding mirrors on these cars. It doesn't matter what spec you spec, but they can fold um, just ever so slightly. Let me just show you on this car. So what you do is, there, that's, that's as much as they fold. So people do ask me, I'll oh, do the mirrors fold in. So say if I want to get it in a narrow garage, that's as far as they go, which is quite decent because it's within the actual width of the car then, whereas normally these, these are actually the widest part of the car, believe it or not. Even on the wide body, it's the widest part. So if you can get through like a gap, so say if you're on a road that has a, a width restriction to stop lorries, if you can get the wing mirrors through, then you'll get the rest of the car through. So that's another another li useful little fact to know is the mirrors are the, are the widest part of the car and they, they you couldn't get an electric folding option it's only electric controls as standard um, the other big options actually are um, the the sports related options which are in this car so has sport chrono package plus which gives you an additional dashboard mounted stopwatch there all three of them have that um, even the turbo does as well so i can't show you one that has that doesn't have that system there and with that with the with the pdk you get sport and sport plus with the s models so this this 3.84 s you get the switchable sport suspension which is that one there and then you also get uh this one's got the optional switchable sports exhaust um this is to put the manually put the the rear um, spoiler up and down and that's to turn trash control on and off um, this car also has doesn't have cruise control so if it had cruise control there'd be another stalk here which would stick out there'd be a fourth stalk because you've got this this one for wipers this one for lights uh, just there then you've got this one which controls um, the the dashboard so if you want to look at the oil level if you want to um, look at your miles per gallon things like that the trip meter basically is controlled by this stalk here but this one has an additional option of voice control uh, which allows you to um, enter uh, destinations um, call people from your phone book without using any buttons just pressing that button and then it will it will listen to what you're saying i've had varied success in actually using that system but it is there if you should want to use it it's quite a, a nifty little gadget i've only seen it on a few cars in all honesty um, most cars came with the sat nav system. I don't think I've come across one without the sat nav system, but some people may have put in an aftermarket head unit, um, which the, the blue car does, and I'll show you that. Um, so that one has CarPlay, this one doesn't have CarPlay.
but some didn't have the universal audio interface which allows you to plug in um, iPods, iPhone, um, USB devices and 3.5mm jacked sort of MP3 players. This is quite a nifty system because it allows you to also, through the auxiliary, have Bluetooth audio streaming with a third party little um, dongle which you can get on Amazon or somewhere like that. Um, and also the Bluetooth um, connectivity to make phone calls wasn't um, standard in the UK so some cars don't have that so check that the car that you're if you're looking to buy one and you want Bluetooth connectivity with your mobile phone to make phone calls on the move check that the car you you're buying has got that option um, dials on these cars um, the S models came as standard with what's called silver dials and so the they almost look white i find but they are they are silver the faces of them and most people who got an s with sport chrono would get the silver face stopwatch as well to match so that they would all match and look quite quite good um as a set now the uh, which one am i going to show you yeah the the non-s so they came with black dials so you can see the same set of dials, exactly the same, but they've got black faces. And as a result, if you had chrono, you would spec, typically spec it, the chrono face to be in black as well, so to sort of, again, match that as a set. This car has optional PASM, so even though it's a 3.6, you could spec it up with most of the parts in an S model. So obviously it's got a 3.6 litre engine, but... This one's got, someone's paid extra for the switchable sport suspension, PASM, and they've paid for Chrono. You could have bought the switchable sports exhaust as well. So you can spec these up to a similar level in terms of uh, not only creature comforts, but also performance parts as well um, to be in line with a S model. The big benefit of these 3.6s versus the 3.8 is tax actually. So this car is around 340 pounds a year to tax for the road in the UK, whereas the, the bigger 3.8s are just above the, uh, I think it's band L. So that means they are 580, so it's a big saving. And the performance of them isn't that different, and I'll show you that in the in the, um, the folders. Um, the controls for the sunroof are up here. This car has got a CarPlay system, so it's a Kenwood system. People, some people prefer Pioneer, others prefer Sony. All of them have a version which will work here and you get this surround um, as well, which you buy separately. And also steering controls, everything can be fitted to work with an aftermarket head unit like that. Um, and that, that has the added benefit of having CarPlay and things. So that's an option if, if you want to upgrade the sort of... Um, technology in these cars because obviously it's a 2009 car uh, this is a 2010 the other two are 2009 so they're sort of now 14 13 14 years old now so the technology has obviously come a long way in uh, in car entertainment and that's one thing to consider if you want to sort of increase the everyday usability of one of these cars what else was I going to show you um I think that's that's everything I wanted to talk about options wise. Uh, oh no, the other optional thing was the auto dimming mirrors. So this has got an auto dimming mirror, um, and as a result, the the wing mirror glass is also auto dimming. If it doesn't have auto dimming, then the rear view mirror has a manual tab to flip it up and down, just like you'd have in most cars. And the mirrors also will not sort of auto dim at night if you've got someone bright behind someone with bright headlights behind you. So that's most of the options there. I just wanted to talk about the performance. So here I've got the the 2010 Carrera. So it's a 3.6. So the big differences will be the weight, um, 1445. And if I just pull out the 4S, fifteen forty, so it's almost a hundred 
kilograms, 95 kilograms heavier. That will be dependent on options as well. That is just a sort of a, a generic figure for the model. But obviously, if you have Bose, if you have the 14-way seats versus the two-way electric seats, then that will make a difference to how much the car actually weighs that you've got. The, the tank, the fuel tanks are also different size, 64 litre versus 67. Um, overall width, 1808 versus 1852. So those wide body cars, those four wheel drive ones are 4.4 centimetres wider at the rear. Um, the power, 385 horsepower, 310 foot pounds of torque versus 245 horsepower and 288 foot pounds of torque. 4.5 naught to 60, 4.3. So it's, it's marginally quicker even just in acceleration, but in real world terms, you don't feel a huge difference in how fast these are, in my opinion anyway, um, in normal driving. If you're doing a sort of 100% performance driving on the track, then you might disagree with me. Um, as standard, uh, Carreras came with 18 inch wheels. Um, this car was upgraded from the factory to 19 inch wheels and a lot worse so they all have the same size wheels same width as well I think so this has got eight eight inch wide fronts 11 inch wide rears and even the the 3.6 Carrera narrow body has eight inch and 11 inch um, tires are slightly wider at the rear on the four the four s's I think that is specific to four s's no it's it's also the the S models as well. Oh, actually, this is this is the turbo. So that ignore that. Um, but you can see this is this is even quicker. So this has 0 to 60 of 3.7, 473 horsepower, 502 foot-pound of torque. So if you compare these two, the base to sort of like the flagship, uh, 345 versus 473, 288 versus 502. Four and a half seconds to 60, 3.7. So yeah, a big, a big leap forward in those gorgeous turbos. This one's actually going tomorrow. It's been collected by the customer. Really, I really love turbos. I think there's, they'll always be special, no matter what era you get. Very, very special cars. Um, but this video is mainly about the Carreras. And I think I've discussed most of the options. The only other option is uh, the cruise control, which I can show you in this car, because it does have cruise control. So there'd be an extra, as I said, there, there would have been a fourth stalk in those other cars, which is this one here. So that is the cruise control stalk to, to work, operate cruise control. This actually has, you could actually get even wood in, a wooden steering wheel. Uh, this is the carbon fiber multifunction steering wheel, but the older style Gen 1 style wheel which is a triangular face some gen 2s do have this triangular but all the most of the 2010 onwards will have a round centered steering wheel so that is my video explaining options i, I know i've done it before but here i've got three different examples i think which um, show different options and highlight different options that are available in the factory so you can have an idea of everything that's available, even if there's only a sort of dozen of these cars available at any one time um, for sale, you can still look at sort of some of the range by looking at this video. I hope you have found it useful. Um, if you do have any questions, obviously do comment below. Please do like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.